So hello, welcome to Seek and Read the Book of the Lord. So some biblical Unitarian beliefs and some scholars and some Christians do believe that the meaning of the seven seven spirits of God in Revelation verse four five is the which is the seven angels. They believe that the seven spirits of God are the seven angels of God. Seven lamps of a fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. But here is the thing. I don't believe that the seven spirits of God are the seven angels of God. Let's read. And unto the angel of the church in Sar Sardis write, this thing said, He that had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. So this is Jesus Christ who had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. So the spirits, the seven spirits of God and the seven stars are different. Why? Because of this verse in Revelation verse 1, chapter 1, verse 20, the mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are, are the seven churches. So the seven stars. Are the angels of the seven churches it doesn't say the seven spirits are the angels of the seven churches okay so same thing this thing said he Jesus Christ had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars but in Revelation 4 5 the seven spirits of God is not the seven angels of God but rather the seven spirits of God and not the seven stars okay so what is the seven spirits let's read in the book of Isaiah 11 verse 2 it says is this <clears throat> it says is this and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom the spirit of understanding the spirit of counsel and might and the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of the fear of the Lord so this is the seven spirit of God that sent into all the earth according to Revelation 4 5 Okay, remember Isaiah 11 2. And let's go back in Revelation. It's very, very clear. And also in Revelation 5 verse 6, it's also said, And I beheld in lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four fist, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. It makes sense that Jesus Christ had the seven spirits of God. And the seven spirits of God, accord, for me, according to my study, it is the Spirit of the Lord, and that is the Holy Spirit. Okay? So that's, that's how it works. Because... If the seven spirits of God is not the Holy Spirit, so in book of Revelation, you can read one verse referring to the Holy Spirit. It's very, very sad if you didn't include in the book of Revelation the Holy Spirit itself. Why? Because if you are using the King James Version, or if you are a King James only, 
I'm not a King James only, but though, but I'm using King James just to be fair for other believers of the King James. It says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. I believe on that. The Father seated on the throne, the Word as the Lamb, okay, and the Holy Ghost, which is the seven spirits, and these three are one. Okay, the Father, our person, the Word became a person, and the Holy Spirit personified. Okay, and these three are one in purpose. That's why you can see in Book of Revelation that there is a God, and there's there's a God, there's a Lamb of God, and there's the seven spirits of God. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Thank you for watching.